Hey Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. I know a lot of you guys are following my journey of my new research clinic and here in Yuma, Arizona, how we're doing. We're about a year into this experiment and uh, we have had four studies now. But Julie, one of our very first patients, agreed to participate. And we're not going to say study details because we don't want to, but you don't even have to say indication or anything like that. But what? let's talk because people always try to get the patient experience and at the end of the day we're all patients I'm a patient my wife's a patient you're a patient everyone's a patient what did you think of clinical research before you did our study and what do you think about it now after okay so this was my first study and um, I, I didn't know what to expect um, doc the doctor was really good about explaining, okay, well, you'll have to go off some medications and normalize yourself out um, that I was taking before. And um, so we did that, and then that's when I met Dan, and he was, was very um, he, he was very complete in explaining how it all worked, And uh, because that was something I did was, had never done one and never done any research on a clinical trial. So it was just interesting to understand the process, and he was very detailed and complete, answered every question I had, so I didn't have any concerns about the, the study at all. It was worked out really well. <laughs> we only paid Julie a little bit to say this. <laughs> but uh, yeah. but yeah, like, <laughs> you know, most people, when they think of clinical research, they think like, oh, I don't want to be a guinea pig. It's an experiment. Mm -hmm. Did that ever cross your mind before, before you met us all? Um, yeah, actually, you're right. That is a good Good point because I did because I didn't wasn't sure about you know because I'm older and I wasn't sure if you're taking something I'd never taken before that wasn't approved but the medication I took had been approved for some for some other uses so I wasn't cons that uh, as soon as I heard that I um, my, all my concerns went away uh, so I uh, that was I uh, good yeah so that helped and me. then another thing I know people are asking there's there's people watching some of the people watching. They have zero patient interaction in their entire careers. They just create like these tools, like that diary you mm -hmm. used. Yeah. Somebody created that and then sold it to a drug company and said, hey, use this for patients. It's supposed to make their lives easier. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Was it easy? And what are some ways you could have improved? You would improve the study if you could redesign this study. I know it's a lot of questions. Yeah. Um, I thought that the tool that they gave is a web interface. You just bring it up in your browser. Um, was a was very easy to do. It didn't take a lot of time either. Um, the questions were the same each time. So I did it multiple times throughout the study. Um, and um, it asked, so you didn't have to, you weren't surprised by a question that you didn't have before. Um, it was easy to do. As far as... Um, what was the second part of that? How would you make this How study make easier? Better, um, or easy? Well, I don't think I could make it any easier. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was very easy. All I had to do was show up. <laughs> and um, But from designing it, you know what? I hadn't even thought of that. And I don't think, I don't have the knowledge to know how I would change it. Yeah. I, said, I didn't have any problem with anything. So there was nothing that I said um, that I would change. Um, there's a, one part I didn't care for was the breath <laughs> thing. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah. it's but it wasn't hard and it wasn't bad and and those it, are expensive too. Yeah. So you got the, the <laughs> results like what three yeah. of them? Yeah. So um, yeah, it it's just one that. But other than that, I mean, and even with that, it wasn't hard. It was easy. I did it. It's just it was taking a sample over 15 minutes when I was trying to work. It was. Yeah, do something, run over to it. <laughs> That's yeah, good. So. And so would you recommend, would you personally do a study again? Yes, I would. And I would, would you recommend one. others mm -hmm. do this? I same? would recommend, if you have the opportunity to participate, um, definitely ask the questions. And if you're, if you're uh, comfortable with taking um, a medication that either has been used for some other thing or brand new, then I, I would highly recommend doing it. I said it's been quite an interesting journey because I'm curious to see how, how it's all going to end up. Did I get a placebo? Did I get the real thing <laughs> or what? <laughs> so we won't know that for a while, but yeah, um, that's a good but, point because a lot of times, unless you ask, they won't 
unblind you. Mm -hmm. And so like if you were to ask us, we have to ask the drug company. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to take months before they yeah. decide, you know, but they should do that. So mm -hmm. you're not the only patient that has right. requested that. But mm -hmm. thank you, Julie. And then as proof, I drew your blood. Look at it. Oh, yes. <laughs> He did. did. He did a great job. <laughs> Painless. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Julie. Very nice thank to you, have you in the study, and uh, we'll be in touch. And thank Thanks. you, Guru Nation, for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Bye-bye.